they do it on, on podcasts. I know. Like, they sit across from each other know, and they talk to like, each other. And I know, but we talk every day, so it's just weird. It should be m- much less weird. Imagine talking to somebody you don't know, and you're sitting right next to them, but you're talking into a microphone. Well, I don't know. It'd all be different, so it would just be the experience. I think you're just not used to talking into a microphone. That too. I'm getting pretty used to it. <laughs> I could tell. <laughs> the great thing is to talk, talk to a microphone well, and still engage. Well, if I had like, a engage. schnazzy one like yours. We could get you schnazzy. If you want <laughs> no. to agree to do the family podcast, we'll get you a schnazzy one microphone. One thing at a time. Yeah, one thing at a time, like cutting out. Like editing my podcast first. I've showed you how to edit your podcast. It's really easy. It would be for the benefit of all of us if you just helped me do it. Well, I'll, I'll help you. But the thing okay. is, today. I'm helping you. We stopped using the internet. Mm, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true. Yeah, that is. So how Except do you feel? Not our whole house. <laughs> what do you mean not our whole house? Well, don't some things run on the internet around here? Like down in the snake room? Probes or does any of that use internet connection? Yeah, but I'm not actively using it. It's I know. I know. I was just trying to be just say like we didn't fully cut it out of our life. I didn't engage with the internet. You didn't today. go chop down the the tree that looks like a pretend tree that has the those things. What are no, they? it's not. It's not a war on the internet. <laughs> if five in- G comes nearby, though, I've heard not so good things about that. Mm. It's probably not as bad as hitting your microphone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just. What are those cell towers? Or no, internet cell towers. towers. Is that it's what a, it's a cell tower? The internet, a cell tower. No, the, the cell tower. Well, actually, yeah, they they do do that now right? with your phone connect. Well, it's kind of yeah, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. I mean, like when I go on the internet, where is it coming from? Is it satellites or is it cell towers or? S- I don't have. I'm not well versed in internet mechanics. Yeah, I'm not either. Clearly, that's why I'm wondering. Let's Google it. Oh, just kidding. Ha ha ha. I like your twinkle toes run, trying to be quiet. <laughs> well, I don't want them. <laughs> I don't want to wake up the baby. Yes, I know. It's this, very possible. This podcast will be over real quick. Yeah. Not that it's a podcast. <laughs> it just feels like one. I like it. I feel like we should have a name for something that's a podcast that's not a podcast. <laughs> it's called Why We're Giving Up the Internet. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's, let's, t- let's tell Awkward everybody. Awkward interviews with your spouse. <laughs> <laughs> Let, let's, let's tell everybody what and why. And so I, I woke up this morning. And I was sitting next to Mushi. She was eating her breakfast. I was on a love sack. And I was scrolling through my phone. And I put it down. I look at her, her little face. You know that it's not an easy face to ignore. And I wasn't ignoring it. I just, I, I was just checking her out. And I'd hang out with her, smile at her a bit, and go back to my phone. And I was like, this is ridiculous. So I shouldn't even, the phone shouldn't be part of this at all. And I chucked it across the room, over the couch. And I've done this before. Yeah, I've done that too. Yeah. I'm like, ah! But then eventually I go and pick it up. Yeah, eventually. Today I decided. <laughs> nice. <laughs> well, I'm trying not to take my face away. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Today I decided that I didn't want to pick my phone back up. And that everybody else should feel just like that too. <laughs> I will never bash the The internet is an amazing thing. Right. Without the internet, I would never... I I wouldn't be able to do what I do without the internet and all the social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, right. YouTube. However, it's an addiction. Yeah. It's an addiction. Totally. Almost uh, just about everybody that has a cell phone and has social media platforms on their phones has some sort of addiction. Unless unless it, there's people, and I'm not saying there's not people out there that don't have control over it. But for the most part, people are getting that dopamine hit every time they check, their, see their notifications, every time they see somebody liked one of their posts or... So I'm kind of interested in that because I feel like that's maybe for some people, but I don't know that it necessarily like triggers 
a similar reaction as drugs? Is that kind of what you're saying? Dopamine is not necessarily, I mean, drugs have released dopamine as well, but Mm -hmm. it's just the pleasure center in the brain. You're getting that little, that little hit like, oh, that feels good. Like when somebody likes your post. Yeah. But don't we get that from our daily life? That's, that's the idea is, yeah, to get that from your daily life. Right. And not, the thing about it is it's not real. It's not, you do get, yeah, you get, like, I was getting do- dopamine hits or whatever you want to call it. I was getting those little happy things and I was looking at Leia and mm-hmm. looking at her eyes and seeing her smile. Right. Getting that same thing. But that's real. Yeah. That's real. That's physical. That's in front of me. It's not cyberspace. Yeah. But the intention behind the like can be very real. Oh, sure. Right. Again, I'm not, I'm not bashing the internet yeah, in any no. way. I well, really, and I think we're kind of getting off topic from what we we're talking about today we could get into a whole conversation about like the positives and negatives of social media but i think for us it's more about being more present while we're at home and taking one full day to put put the phones and screens away so i think we were kind of getting off topic okay yeah so so what we've what we've done is uh, i made the decision this morning and hillary agreed with me My, my initial thought was to Take Sunday, one whole day, you know, from Saturday night, put the phone in a drawer to Monday morning before you take it back out. But then I, then I thought about it a little harder before you even woke up still and thought, you know, that's kind of ridiculous because a phone is a tool at the same time. Right. You know, it, for emergencies, if we're hiking out somewhere, you know, yeah. somebody breaks a limb or something. And right. the, to be able to contact uh, emergency services is ridiculous to just get rid of that if you have it. Well, yeah, just because we made this rule, it's like to put our children's lives in more danger if we're in a space where like, you know, we're hiking. Yeah. And somebody gets hurt and then it's like, well, we left our phones in the drawer today. Sorry, child. You're going to have to suffer for a lot longer than if we just brought our phones. (laughs) Right. Right. So I think I think that was a good compromise to to still be able to bring the phone. Yeah. But like on our walk today, I brought my phone because it's it was. Yeah. And I, I knew you had your. So I just I just left mine. Right. And I'll, I'll tell you, like, there was, I can't count, I didn't count specifically how many times today I, I thought about checking, you know, wh- how, the, how a YouTube video is doing or mm-hmm. looking at a Facebook post or yeah. just or just checking Instagram messages or, you mm-hmm. know, emails, anything. Yeah, I had a couple thoughts of like, oh, I wonder, like, the, I ordered some stuff on Amazon and I thought it was supposed to be here today and it didn't show up and I wanted to like go check my phone and be like, it's supposed to be here today. Where is it in my order? You know, like. But is it really going to affect my life if I find out tomorrow? No. Yeah, in the grand scheme of things, no. No. And I think it's also important that our children see us not on our, not with our phones and not on our phones all the time. Because then they're going to grow up that way. And they're going to think that's normal. And it's kind of depressing when you look over at a table, you know, all having lunch together. And I mean... Which you've seen a lot in the restaurant industry. Yeah, I'm sure. And everyone's just sitting there on their phone. And it's like, there's a difference between like, if people are all like looking something up and everyone's trying to like find a hotel that they're going to go stay in, you know, or if they're interacting with each other while being on their phones, that's different. But then I've seen so many times where it's just like this kid's over here in the corner. They're having, it's just, there's just no connection. And so it's and how you use them. Right. That and is and important. that's why I wanted to take this day. Is that mushy? Oh dang it! Sorry, we can we can pick right back up. Well, why don't I just bring her out here? She'll fall back asleep on my shoulder, and I okay. can just hold sure. her. Yeah. Are the Godzillas in the shot? Yes. That's awesome. <laughs> I actually really like these little Godzilla guys, yeah, me too. and they help me like when they're talking about different Godzillas to be like, okay, I actually know which one you're talking about now. So, anyways, and like, I want our children to see us reading books. That's what. That's a big part of like. I've read this book before, but I'm glad yeah. I found it on the shelf because I, I want to read it again. Yeah. I was wondering tonight, you know, because you guys are all going to fall asleep before me. That's mm-hmm. a given. That's always mm-hmm. the case. And at that time, I usually go, you know, I'll fall into a YouTube hole or I'll work on the computer editing something, but I'm still going to the internet and doing that and mm-hmm. screen stuff and screen. And yep. I was like, it's tonight, you know, it's not, not till Monday and then I'm going to pick up, you know, because, because I have to use the internet. Of course, yeah. For work. If, without the internet, I wouldn't be able to do what I do without the internet, without YouTube, without... this. That's my job. Yeah, totally. It's a great job. I love it. Yeah. 
Um, but I mean, there's definitely times when like, and I'm sure I've done the same, but where I'm like, your children are trying to talk to you, like be present with them, you know? What? Oh, the hide. No, I, I turned that upside down. Daddy did it. Kay, Don't no, worry, baby. No, close it's the door. It's okay. Thanks for letting us know, honey. But yeah, where like I observe it and it's just like, hey, daddy, look at this. Hey, daddy. And it like, you know, and you're just so in. And it's everyone does that. I get it. But like, I think making an effort to not do that is a big deal. And that's why I, th- I thought it'd be a great idea to take that day to do yeah, take Sunday and not have the phone at all. Like yeah. if somebody calls, if it's an emergency, I've, I've to be honest, I've turned my ringer off. Like mm-hmm. I don't even know where my phone is right now. Actually, there's no there's a couple places it could be, but I don't really know. It's a tool. If you have an emergency, you need to contact emergency services. For me, there's not anything that anybody needs to get to me right that second. That or if they do, they'll call you over and over again. Like if one of our families can't get a hold of us, that's what I would do. I would just like call them over and over again if it was something really serious or send a text like emergency, you know, like, yeah, people yeah. will find ways to make it clear that like I need to talk to you. Right. I, and even then it was like, what, what could possibly happen that where I am going to be of more service than like, I don't know, the, the fire department. Right. <laughs> yeah. No, totally. One day is completely doable and I think really healthy and it felt really good. Yeah, that's what I want to talk about next is how, how I felt. Yeah. Like, there's a part of me that's been yearning and yearning for simpler times. Not to sound like an old fuddy daddy. Freedom <laughs> from technology. Yeah, just like yeah. that simpler time Hi. when everything wasn't connected, when people didn't have access to you all the time right. or you didn't let people have access to you they all the time. They read books and told stories, you know. It gets the creative. The internet can definitely can definitely instigate creative creativity but having time to sit in nature or to be present with your family yeah it's just i I felt i felt it today like i had that feeling when we're on a walk Mm -hmm. when we're just sitting there at scott's just watching the kids play totally i had that feeling that i haven't felt for a long time Mm -hmm. the feeling that i felt like i it felt like it rejuvenated too it gave me energy Mm -hmm. you know yeah like like physical energy it makes me want to like limit the usage, not just on this one day, but also on other days. Mm-hmm. You know, like obviously, I, like again, I need to use the internet to work and, and get right. things done that need to be done. Well, so and we there's a difference between using it for work and purposes than pointless scrolling. Right. Until you see something you're interested in. It's like, no, if you are seeking something out because you're interested or because you need to l- look up something or you need to do work, but just scrolling for entertainment it's like yeah so yes i'm glad i've actually really wanted to see you pick up a book for a long time (laughs) and i uh, well i won't tell you this next part because you'll find out in a few days (laughs) okay (laughs) all right well yeah it's it's good i'm glad we're doing it um i feel like we should check back in after we've been doing it for like a month and you know, <coughs> maybe re- revisit the conversation. Yeah. And, I mean, we'll be having it, but like set this, set these cameras up again and, right. and have this conversation in a month and see how things have changed. Yeah. Or, it or might not, inspire or, us to be like, okay, we're cell phone free after seven o'clock at night, you know, or something like that. Maybe we'll find that, yeah, we like it so much that there's other times that we schedule that we have no screen time. I felt like I got so much done today. There were so many times I, I felt like I was able to stay on task with certain things. Like, mm-hmm. Not get no, cause, distracted. Yeah, because I mean, even when I'm getting work done, there's time, like I'll be working down the snake room cleaning snakes and I'll take a break to like check Instagram messages. Or yeah. I don't remember the last time I went to the bathroom and not brought my <laughs> cell phone with me. <laughs> I <know>. oh. <laughs> yes. Until today. Well, like when I went to the bathroom today mm-hmm. without my phone. Mm hmm. I was try. I tried to recall the last time I did that. Oh, hi, my little tea. Right. And no, it's always a given. We always both grab our phones. It's disgusting. Well, well, people used to read newspapers. It's not. It's not like it's a bad thing to want to be engaged in reading and learning and not just sitting there. Like that's. It's not like that's completely different 
you know, that since books have been around and stuff, you get lost in your book. You want to read your book. That's what like my dad always used to do was like grab the newspaper, you know, and now instead of the newspaper, it's our phones. But at least when you're reading a newspaper, you're getting more intelligent, hopefully, and using your brain, (laughs) you know, like instead of just scrolling through Facebook or something that doesn't that doesn't really trigger any intelligence. I mean, yeah, of course, you could find a cool article and learn from that. But I don't know. It's just different. I think it there's something that it resets to if you if you're not constantly plugging into the rest of the world on the on the internet and having your own space there's something mentally that resets I don't know like I said I felt it today where I, did too. I felt completely different today than I felt in a long time yeah in a very very good way well and I know people take like social media breaks which is great but like yeah, how about like cell phone breaks? And I actually didn't we hear on some interview that they um, like there's some people who purposely buy flip phones so that they can't be on their phone scrolling and yes. stuff, so they can only use it for texts or calls. I think that's a great idea. And then if you need internet, you have a computer, you know. But right. it's not just at your reach in your pocket all day every day. I think that's a great idea. I, I wonder if eventually flip phones will make a comeback. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, today was just a good r- reminder, or it just really proved to me the point that you you don't need. I mean, we made a point of not doing any screen stuff at all. Like, mm-hmm. I didn't edit any video, I didn't touch the computer, mm-hmm. none of that. So not even not even just having a phone for calling and texting and then doing the stuff. I'm like, well, we obviously we're taking the full break today from everything. Right. But, hmm. I sent one text. You sent a text. Well, Amy asked me if my email address was still the same because she has to send me registration papers for Eli. Because I got to get those turned in. I just replied yes. That was it. And then I put it back. Couldn't call Amy. Why would I call her just to say yes? That's my email address. To inspire her, like we're saying to all (laughs) these people right now. Today was the first day and... And you already failed. I did. Oh my gosh, Hillary. At least you're willing to admit it. Yeah. I mean, it's a yes, simple yes. You failed too. How so? You checked your text. Yeah, I looked at my text. We yeah. said that we said that we did say that if there, somebody sends you a text, you could call them. Right. Right. But you did look at a text. And I went to go it. see if anybody had called me. But then you read the text. You asked me, and I said, "Yeah, but it's I fine. didn't." But I didn't text back. That was the agreement. We, we said, "You said, what if somebody texts me and like, like if the team texts me about this, I like, call her back." I guess and so. use the That's phone. We agreed that we could use the phones as phones to call people. Yeah, I guess it just felt really silly to call her back and just be like, "It, it would okay." The my point was that like the way I was thinking, in my brain was like, "It's gonna take me longer to call her and tell her yes." than it is to just respond. I'm going to be on my phone more if I call her than if I just respond with a quick yes and then done. But you'd be having that more real connection with somebody by having that voice, audio, call, talk to talk, listening to each other's tones of each other's voice. That That's kind of the idea behind this is to have more real interactions. I guess. Well, so that's why I'm going to try to figure out how to set up a auto response on Sundays where an automatic message goes to anyone who texts me and says like, Hey, friends and family, we're doing screen-free Sundays. Call me if you need to talk or I can text you tomorrow. (laughs) That way people don't think I'm just like ignoring them or that anything's wrong. You know, it'll just be like, oh, cool. Okay. Well, guys, uh, I hope that this inspires you to try something like this. Maybe Uh, I can't really tell you how much it felt so good to have this day. What did it feel like, though? I feel like there's a word or like a it, better it, explanation. It, it took me back. It took me back to a time before the internet. Mm-hmm. I had that feeling like I was more, more connected. Grounded? grounded. Yeah. More connected with the world, mm-hmm. the real world, mm-hmm. the earth, nature, mm-hmm. the sky, the sound of... I sat and watched shadows dance on the dresser in the boys' room mm-hmm. and really felt that connection with with everything Mm -hmm. way more than I ever feel connected by plugging into the internet. Yeah. And then Eli needed a hug and I sat there and hugged him and didn't have this feeling at any point where I like needed to like, okay, this hug has to end because I've got things to do. Mm -hmm. I was able to just put, put myself in that moment and just 
sit there and hug him Mm -hmm. for as long as that hug was going to last. And I wasn't going to put any any effort into ending it. Right. Yeah. And I feel like you use the internet so much for work. I'm just thinking like if there's people who like have to use the internet every single day for work or like what, you know, I think for people who maybe want to do something similar, like if there's no way that on Sundays you can not use your phone the whole day, like try half a day or try Monday. Yeah. Or try a different day (laughs) or like, yeah, do like after lunch or even after dinner, just start with something, just putting it away and not using it. I mean, if your livelihood depends on you being able to answer an email on Sunday morning, then yeah. Right. right. (laughs) Obviously, you know, common sense is a thing. And within reason. But I think that everybody can cut back on their cell phone use. And would likely benefit from it. Yeah. Pick up a book. I feel like I've thought about doing it for a while, Mm -hmm. you know, uh, from time to time. But then something clicked this morning. I was just like... I need to do it. Yeah, I'm glad you did because I liked it.